clutch it, here we go. It's been a long time since I had my car at Caffeine and Octane raising money for Children's Hospital. So here I am today and the cars are pulling in here and man, I'm looking forward to this show. This should do really well. Got some interesting cars here I'm about to take you around and show you. So let's have a good time and take a look. Yeah, look at this here. Unbelievable. What a custom job on this thing. Drop it down. I am here with Sam, the owner of this Trans Am that looks unbelievable, remarkable, and, and it's a it's a special edition. So he's gonna explain everything here. Sure. Hey, hey guys. I had the car uh, since '78. Actually, dated my wife in it, and I still got the car and my wife. But it is a one-year-only model. It's a 400cc special edition. Um, it's the exact opposite of the Smokey and the Bandit that everybody knows and loves. So it's just the reverse of that. And uh, they made it one year, so it's really special, and I'm glad to have it. And wow. hope you guys had just, a chance to look at it. They just made this one year? Yeah, this was a one-year car. You'll see tons of gold ones, but right. the special edition, which is the opposite of the Smokey and the Bandit, that's uh, one year only. So wow. they made 6,000 something of them. Fantastic. Yeah. And your original owner on this thing. Yeah. That's fantastic. Had fun in it, that's for sure. I beat it up, so it's been so restored. So let me ask you, to bring <laughs> it back to, to having it restored, what, what did you spend on it? Uh, well, it was, it was about six years ago, so it wasn't as much as they probably would be today. But it was close to 50,000. It was called a rotisserie restoration. Wow. So basically they pick it up, they take everything off the car, spin it around and replace it with every new bolt, nut, everything. So there are pictures in the back of the restoration. Um, but that's, uh, I'm gonna keep it, that's for sure. This is a fantastic looking car. I appreciate it, thank you. All right, sir, have a good one. Beautiful condition. Shelby. Cobra. Beautiful. I know. I mean, it's paint. 
been redone uh, one time, but that was about 20 years ago. So many different cars out here to this week, and we're gonna find somebody, take a look at these cars, and uh, see what's up here. This is rocking here. Look at this dragster. I'm here with Lewis and he's with uh, Fuel Tech. So he's going to explain all about this SS. SS. He's a from a, uh, Brazil. Yeah, yeah so, so that's our pilot, right? That's a, a Brazilian classic. Uh, back in Brazil, we don't have many V8s and this will be like our muscle, right? Uh, it, come, it comes with an inline six, 250 cubic inches. And, and this is a built version. It's a 292 of a single turbo. Wow. And, it, and it's pushing about 800 horses Let's right now. Let's take a look at this engine real quick here. So you see we made some upgrades. Don't have a distributor anymore. It's, co it's a coil near plug, uh, a lot of injectors to run a lot of stuff. It's running on, on alcohol right now, methanol M5. Wow. Um, and it's just like, it's a pretty cool car, like it's pretty much OEM how it looks, right? Besides the exhaust straight on the fender. And and this was this was made by Chevy, but yes. But it it's was a uh, European body, right? It's from Europe, like a German body, like a, the Opel Record. But they have the powertrain from the Impala. Right? Wow. The, the the inline six from the Impala. Oh, that's really, really cool. This car is just amazing. I, I noticed it last couple months ago, and uh, everybody seems to really like this from Brazil, and I can see why now. Yeah. So yeah, can you just tell me a little bit about these other cars straight down well, there? Well, uh, Field Tech is heavily involved with race cars, right? Like that's that's what we do. Uh, we we primarily handle race cars and you know some antiques that you can remove the carb and do like some really high horsepower and uh these are these three are pro mods what they call so it's a carbon fiber body right the car is really light wow. and uh, and it's a purpose built chassis tube chassis this in particular is a nitrous engine so it's naturally aspirated with a lot of nitrous it makes about 3500 horses this one wow uh that one it's a different version it's a hemi with a screw blower this is the most powerful out of all the three this one makes about 4,500 horses. Oh. And, and <laughs> that one has a pro charger, so it's a centrifugal charger. It's like a turbo, but it spins through the crankshaft. Wow. It's unbelievable. Yeah, and this is one of the quickest CF, uh, quickest cars ever to the 8 mile. This car being 349 at over 200 miles on the 8 mile. Really? Yeah, that's a really fast car. That is very fast. Yeah, the, the next one, it's like a, a pro import, a three quarters chassis. So it is a, a Trueno, right? And, and it's still a Trueno. It was a real car. This was a real car that was transformed to a race car. But it, has, it still has a 2JZ, but it's a race version of 2JZ, single turbo. This one is pushing about 2,000 to the tire. This, this car, they're racing quarter mile. I think the best is, is, is 6.2 on the quarter mile in this car. That's unbelievable. At over 220, 220, 230 miles, something like that. Wow. This is great. 
Uh, how many, how, uh, how many cars do you have out here today? Uh, I have the, all those three. So this Ferrari is um, it's a 97, a 355 with a single turbo. So wow. if you see on the back, that's a that's a turbo on it. Let's this, take a look at yeah, that. Yeah, this one makes like about 700 to the tire. Oh wow! Yeah, you can see big single intercooler, OEM engine. Unbelievable. And beautiful fall. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> you don't want to mess with somebody in this Falcon then, huh? And same thing, right? Single turbo. Small block forward. Unbelievable. We never measured this one, but I, I think it pushes about five to six hundred horse or something like that. Now let me ask you. What can you do with my Triumph TR6? Uh, uh, the sky is the limit, buddy. What do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate everything and show me these. No, cars. you're it's welcome. Fantastic. You're welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Good time. What a good time I had at Caffeine and Octane. And now it's time to raise some money for children's health care. So I want to thank you all for watching. And, um,. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And I will see you next time here. And here we go. Mm -hmm.